hello everyone and welcome to my youtube channel in today's video I'm, I'm going to show you how you can create your own ai generated qr codes using python and hugging faces library called diffusers so to start with we will import a few things let's import torch let's import a library called qr code to generate the qr codes but there's a bunch of resources available online that you can use to generate the qr code images for free this is also free um, so feel free to use uh, whatever you like and now from diffusers we will import stable diffusion control net pipeline and control net model so now we have this we can define our control net which is control net model and this this is the model that we are going to use dot from pre-trained um, it's trained by a user called Dion Timur and they have trained uh, not only a control net on QR code for stable diffusion 1.5 but also for stable diffusion 2.1 and I'm going to change the torch D type to torch.float16 now we have the control net defined and now we want the stable diffusion pipeline so I will just say pipe is stable diffusion pipeline from pre-trained and here I'm going to use runway ML stable diffusion 1.5 I'm a control net is control net uh, we have the same torch D type and I will also disable the safety checker and that's it and send this to CUDA device now if you have like uh, Xformers installed you can enable memory efficient attention for less memory consumption enable Xformers memory efficient attention okay great so now we have the pipeline and we have the control net pipeline that's it and now what we can do is we can generate some QR codes so let's define a function called generate QR code I'm just going to copy the paste this function and then I'm going to explain it to you like what's happening um, by generating a bunch of QR codes or just one QR code. So here I define the QR um, code, uh, like what kind of QR code I want. And this is an important error correction that you might want to have. Um, and then I add the data, which is my content. So I can just say here content, which is just a string. And then you create the QR code. Then we are generating a background image which is filled with pixel value 255 but you don't have to go into all the details here let's just generate a qr code and see uh, what it looks like so generate qr code um okay image is not different okay so we need to import from pil import image So now it's it has generated a QR code for us. So you can see like the QR code is centered and you have a bunch of white space all around it. So that's what the function is doing. So let's keep it here. And now um, what we can do is we can try to use the control net in the pipeline that we have defined earlier um, to create some amazing QR codes. So prompt um let's leave it empty then you have negative prompt and um you need the qr code image so qr code image is let's say qr code content and the content here will be bit.ly slash abtube sub so if you go to this link you will sub you will be subscribing to my channel you still have to press the button that it's okay to subscribe and now we can say okay uh, we have we have everything 
we can create a generator so it's torch dot generator uh, we don't need to set any seed and uh, output output will be pipe inside that you have the prompt the negative prompt um, instead of QR code image this will be image and width let's just set it to the width of QR code image height and now comes important parameters guide and scale so the parameters are really very important here otherwise it will be generating uh, something that won't work and control net conditioning scale 1.25 we can set it to different values generator is generator Um, and in number of inference steps, I set it 40. So once we have this, uh, we should be able to generate the image. So, but we didn't write any prompt. So let's, let's write, uh, some prompt. Uh, I'm just going to copy paste some prompt because you have to find good prompts um, so this is one of the good prompts that i found uh, imax hypnosis graffiti i'm not sure what it is but looks good generator okay so now it's generating the image and um, to see the image in a small window we can just do plt.im show output dot images zero since we generated only one image and this is what the QR code looks like pretty cool huh I'm not sure if it works though so we can check if it works using our phone So this QR code doesn't seem to be working. So what we are going to do is we're going to change some parameters. Let's move this here. And let's make it 2.25. Now it's generating the image again with the same prompt. Now we got some QR code in which QR code is more visible. It's because we uh, increased the control net conditioning scale and this QR code seems to be working um, so let's decrease it to 1.7 and then see like if we're getting something much more abstract okay so we got something and even this QR code seems to be working and I'm, I'm checking it using my phone you can also check that so this is a video everyone um, it's as simple as this to generate uh, these good looking uh, AI generated QR codes that you see on the social media everywhere these days um, and there is also a, um, a Gradio app that you can use uh, so I'm just going to show you the Gradio app um, now. So the link to the app is also available in the description box. So what you can do is here you can just write the content and then just change the parameters and it's going to generate a uh, QR code for you. So like like this one um or maybe let's try this example this one yeah and i can just change the link bit.ly slash the tube sub okay and uh maybe we click run
and it's going to take a while and you can see like I'm in the queue at number seven so I'm not going to let it finish but you can always duplicate the space or just run the space on your local machine by just cloning it but anyways so it's this easy to uh, generate a AI generated QR code image and I hope you like the video and if you do like it do click on the like button do subscribe and share the video with your friends and see you next time goodbye